Hi and welcome to another episode of Mission Control. Today we're going to take a look at Equinox, the Achilles heel of Flat Earth. It just happens to be Equinox today, so go outside and study how those shadows move. But first, let me address the issue with Flat Earth and Equinox. Equinox is the time of year when day and night is equally long, all over the world. It happens in late March and September. Another interesting fact is that shadows move in a straight line. This only occurs at equinox, as the rest of the year the shadows move in a curved line. This is my own little observation of shadows at equinox. You can use a small object like I do, or you can use a tall building. It doesn't really matter as the shadows will behave the same. Had I done this recording at solstice, which happens late June and December, the shadow would have followed a line more like this. In fact, this is how shadows move throughout the year. At solstice, the path is curved, and at equinox, it's straight. But in order for shadows to move in a straight line, the light source also has to move in a straight line. So when flat earthers say that the sun moves in circles, they have a big problem. On a globe, though, things match up perfectly, as always. When I make these animations, it's no problem to do the globe model, but the flat model is totally unachievable. Even if I tried to throw in refraction, silly lampshades, magic mushrooms, there is no way I can make the shadows go straight. So flat earthers, you have yet to explain how shadows can move in a straight line if the sun doesn't. Well, I believe that was another safe landing. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.